In this video, I'm going to work through an example of how to use Excel to conduct a one sample t test. And there's really no direct way to do this in Excel, but there is a way to make it work while using the two sample test, assuming unequal variances. And so we'll use this to test a hypothesis about a population mean. And so what we have in this given data set are 25 schools that we have total child nutrition per pupil expenditures. So this is the amount of, per, of money spent on each child on average in 25 different schools on child nutrition. So this is basically in the, the, the school nutrition, the school lunch and breakfast program. And we want to test a hypothesis about whether or not more than $500 is spent on a child on average per pupil um, for the entire population. So we have the sample of 25, we want to apply it to this larger population. And we have this hypothesis that uh, we're really concerned about at least $500 being spent per pupil is the the level that's that's most appropriate or that's what we've been we've been asked and so we want to test and see if that is being met or if that's likely to be met uh, in the larger population so to do this in excel we need to create another column of the hypothesized value and so this is the way we've got to kind of trick excel uh, to do this calculation for us and for each value in column A, we need to have our hypothesized value, and as I mentioned, that's 500 for this problem. So we're testing whether or not $500 is spent per, per pupil, and we're really interested to see if it's at least 500, so greater than 500. So we're looking at a one-tailed test in this case because we're testing a specific value in just one direction. We want to make sure it's greater than 500. So at this point we can go to our data ribbon to the data analysis tool and as I mentioned we're going to use the two sample assuming unequal variances t-test and let me clear out the existing information that was there. So our variable one range is our column A variable two range is column B and we are using labels so make sure that is is selected we're going to use for this uh, example an alpha of 0.05 and we're just going to have the output range placed here on the same worksheet and so here are our results we have the mean for each the mean total child nutrition per pupil expenditures for our 25 observations is $557.08 and that's compared to our hypothesized value of $500. Those 25 observations correspond to a degrees of freedom of 24, that's n minus 1, and we are most interested in the one-sided, the one-tell t-test. So this is what we're, we're really interested in. For our data, we have a t-statistic of 2.62, and that can be compared to the critical t of 1.71. And we see that our t-statistic is greater than the critical, so that's going to lead us to rejecting the null hypothesis. And we can also confirm that with the p-value that is, that is uh, less than 0.05, and again, both of these lead us to rejecting the null hypothesis and supporting the alternative hypothesis, which is that the per pupil child nutrition expenditures are greater than $500 on average. And that's about the population. So we have the sample of 25 and we're trying to test this hypothesis about the larger population of schools and child nutrition programs.